Between the 1870s and 1900s, a period of prosperity and progress, specifically economic growth, prevailed in America. This was called the Gilded Age. During the time, the gold that painted in America spanned from the expansion of industry to cultural developments, and at first glance may look beautiful, but it may sometimes be fraught with tension. Electricity, a force that greatly became intertwined with American life during this time, falls into the category. Nevertheless, the spread of electricity during the Gilded Age was mostly beneficial, and one can say that it triumphed. The following are the seven themes that make up the word triumph. One of the first commercial uses of electricity lay in transportation. Thomas Edison, one of the great fathers of electricity, installed the first commercial lighting system on the steamship Columbia in 1880. The system's reliability, combined with the brightness and resilience of its incandescent light bulb, alerted other transport companies to pick up the new technology. As electricity gained traction, new forms of transport began hitting the roads, or should I say tracks. During the Gilded Age, streetcars and electric trains filled the city streets, which were easier to control, faster, quieter, and cheaper than their horse-drawn or steam-powered counterparts. Switching gears, one of electricity's most significant contributions is giving birth to advanced innovative technology. Thomas Edison brought many electric inventions, the most famous include the light bulb, the phonograph, motion pictures, and most notably his pioneering electric grids and electric distribution systems, among others that were adopted for practical use. Although electricity was not directly involved in causing strikes and protests that could pose the classic character of the relationship between the greedy bosses, the robber barons, and their infuriated workers, the rebels, it helped plant the seeds of conflict between them. For one, the incandescent light bulb helped extend the work hours to late at night, greatly angering the laborers and sparking strikes for shorter workdays. On a larger scale, the great demand for coal that only increased with the construction of powerhouses encouraged mine owners to impose harsher conditions in order to produce more coal, sparking strikes. Conflicts such as these as a result of electricity further divided the owners of big businesses and their laborers. Among the reasons why immigrants left their homeless was their pursuit of a better life. With the search of electricity and its applications becoming widespread, the quality of life of Americans rose dramatically, encouraging immigration. More directly, the spread of electricity opened new jobs for the immigrants. While power companies needed workers to maintain electric grids, owners of coal mines sought unskilled laborers to help meet the great demand for coal that powerhouses spawned. Therefore, when job competition was fierce amidst Americans and the newcomers, electricity disrupted this conflict and lessened the crisis for employment for the immigrants. Similar to its impact on technology, electricity has also greatly influenced the growth and prosperity of towns and cities. While electricity brought bright forms of illumination, filling not only many urban buildings but also countless streets, it also fostered the construction of skyscrapers and high-rises as new advancements in steel construction and production, such as arc welding and magnetic iron ore separators, rapidly accelerated the process. On a more social level, the establishment of power plants helped spawn businesses, which could connect to the electric grid. The sheer availability of electricity in urban areas and the resulting higher quality of life also was a major factor and attracted the country folk to cities. To a lesser extent, although still substantially, electricity impacted the lives of marginalized groups, especially women, and caused them to respond. As the emerging technology began to uncoil in America, job openings allowed women to be hired for telephone switchboards and operators, as well as for other occupations such as the production of light bulbs, allowing them to leave housework and pursue other careers. On the other hand, considering that the job openings encompassed intensive and arduous work, one could argue that the spread of electricity during this time decreased the quality of life for women and encouraged their protests and strikes. Moreover, the advent of labor-saving electric appliances did not reduce the time chores sucked out of a woman before. Therefore, the entrance of electricity into the woman's life did not discourage them to continue to seek out opportunities outside of housework and chores such as higher education and jobs otherwise filled by men. Most significantly, the change that electricity brought revolutionized everyday life. Lying the streets, stores and centers of commerce and social activity dazzled in bright electric lights. As a result, a prominent light like culture flourished during this time. Electricity also gave birth to various forms of entertainment, such as arcades, music halls, and motion pictures, which helped animate American leisure time. Like no other form of energy before, electricity entered the familial sphere on an unprecedented level. Electric household appliances such as toasters and electric ovens began appearing in homes, which revolutionized the daily life of Americans, who cooked up entire meals with the flick of a switch. While the incandescent light bulb, whose golden glow still radiates from modern homes, conquered the day-night lifestyle and illuminated the world brighter than fire. The centrality of electricity goes as far as to its impact on expansion and the conquest of the West. Where before letters and messages were carried in horse-drawn carriages for months, electric radio allowed for messages to be transmitted in a matter of milliseconds. The radio was the father of wireless transmission which tied the great expanse of the nation with an unparalleled form of communication, a reliable, cheap and lightning fast medium. Today we are still awaiting the fruits of electricity, but it has already seized our daily lives. From smartphones and computers to cars and life-saving devices, who knows what else electricity could win. 